Okay, so today we're going to learn about solving systems of equations. When you see the directions that says solve the system of equations or find the solution, what that means Solving system of equations means find the ordered pair that works in all given equations. Solving the system means we're going to find the ordered pair that works in all the given equations. The system is multiple equations. That's what we're going to do today is we're going to find an ordered pair that works in all the equations. There's two methods. Um, the first method is, we're skipping the warm-up, the first method is called substitution. And it, it says the steps for substitution, but they're actually on the next page. I don't know why I did that. And I'm not going to read these to you. I'm just going to do the steps. And then if you forget what we did, they're there for you. So I'm just going to do the steps. And when I do these, um, I'm going to have like four main sets. I'm going to have four main sets. And I'm going to try to stay as organized as possible because it's very, very easy to make a silly mistake. You forget a negative or you add something wrong about accident. It's so easy to make a silly mistake. So we're going to try to stay as organized as possible. Now we're doing substitution, and substitution means I have to take something that's equal and swip it, swap it out. Like when I have a sub, somebody comes in that's like equivalent to me, right? They may look a little different, they may do things a little different, but they're like equivalent. That's substitution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at equation 1 and equation 2. Go ahead right now and let's label this equation 1 and equation 2. And we're going to keep it organized, so I'm labeling every single one, equation one, and equation two. That way, when I talk about equation one, everybody knows which one I'm talking about. And then when you go back and look at your work, we all know which equation you're talking about because you have it labeled. In order to use substitution, one of the equations has to be x equals or has to be y equals. One of the equations has to say that. Do we have that? We have x equals or y equals. No. So um, we have to make it out, say x equals or say y equals if we want to use substitution, which is what we're doing. So you look here, and it's totally up to you which equation should we make, say either x equals or y equals. I don't care. It's totally up to you which equation, equation one or equation two. One, okay. And do you want to make it say x equals or y equals? <laughs> x equals? Okay, let's make equation one say x equals. Um, I would never choose a, a letter to say equals if there's a number right in front of it because you'll end up having to divide by that three and that means I have fractions and I don't want to do that. But if I make it say x equals, all I have to do is move the three y over. So equation one, and we're going to subtract the 3y from both sides. And now my new equation 1 is x equals negative 3y plus 3. Or you could write 3 minus 3y. My equation 2 is still negative x plus y equals negative 3. Okay. 
So now what we're going to do is called substitute. We're going to take out something that's equivalent and replace it in the other one. You're going to use both equations. So in equation one, I have x equals this. All right, that's what x equals. So in equation two, wherever I see an x, I'm going to make it that. I'm going to replace that. So my substitution step, there's my substitution step, step, is going to look like equation two, negative, then I have to do what I'm replacing it with. So I'm going to use parentheses when I replace. When I substitute, I use parentheses around what I'm substituting. Negative 3y plus 3. Then I finish the equation. Plus y equals negative 3. So this here was x in the other equation. So that negative sign is outside because of this negative sign. That's not part of the x. That's the hardest part. Everything else should be easy. From here, um, if you've done that step correctly, there should be only one variable. Do we have only x's or only y's? Yes, we do. So we've done it so far correctly. So now I'm going to simplify. And to simplify this one, since there's a number outside of the parentheses, what number is that? Negative one. Since there's a number outside that parenthesis, I have to distribute it. So I will have negative one times negative three y is positive three y. Negative one times three is negative three. Then I bring down plus y equals negative three. And now we're doing just algebra one. Let's solve this equation. We combine our like terms. We have a three y and we have a y. That becomes four y minus three equals negative three. We're solving this equation. Add 3 to both sides. And we have 4y equals 0. Divide both sides by 4. So we have y equals 0. Okay. So I got y equals 0. But I'm not done. And if you're running out of space, if you're running out of space, this bottom part that says steps for elimination, you just use all that bottom part because the steps for elimination are on the next page. So we won't need that space at all other than just to show in your work if you're running out of space. Because we're not done yet. What is the solution to a system? What did I write on that front page? What is the solution we're looking for? A what? An ordered pair. Do I have an ordered pair yet? I only have y. What do I need to need so? Okay. So here's where you want to take some good notes. What we do now is we are going to plug in the y that we just found. We're going to plug it in, but we're going to choose an equation. And it doesn't matter which equation you use. I'm just going to choose equation number one. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to write which one I'm using right now. I wrote plug in one. Okay, I wrote plug in one. So I'm going to plug y into equation one. So I'll have x plus three, I'm plugging in zero for y, equals three. Then I'm going to solve that for x. So x plus zero equals three. So x is three. So we got an x. But there's so many things that could go wrong. So we're going to check our answer to make sure that we do have the right ordered pair. Because if we have the, the solution to the system, it will check in which equations? One and two. It's going to check in all of them. So we just found it in one. Now we're going to check in two. So you have to use both equations in this step, in these two steps. So I'm going to check in equation two. I have negative, and then I'm going to put in my x, which I just got was three, plus my y is zero, equals negative three. So I'm checking in equation two, plugging in the zero and the three. Negative three plus zero is negative three. Is that true? Is that true? Is it right? 
Now, if it's not true, if you get like negative 3 equals 8, then that tells you you made a mistake somewhere. Go back and find the mistake. So the check step is important. Do we have our answer? What is our answer? How do we write our answer? And an ordered pair, that's right. It's the solution is an ordered pair. So I'm going to write the x, then the y, as an ordered pair in parentheses with a comma between it. That is our final answer. So we're going to go through all those steps two more times. All those steps two more times. All right, first thing we want to do is we want to see if we have one equation solved for either x equals or y equals. Do we? Yes, we do. I don't have to do anything. I already have y equals 3x minus 14. That's what y equals. So what do I put that in in equation 1? got to label my equations in one second. Equation 1, equation 2. So what do I stick that in? In equation one, what do I put it in for? Well, the x or the y? Which one? In the y. This says y equals, so I plug it in for y. So my next step looks like, it looks like equation one, but I put equation two inside. x plus two, parenthesis, 3x minus 14 equals 14. So I took what y equals and put it in for y. And then we check. Do we have only one variable here? Do I have, only have x's? That's what I mean by one variable. I, you can have multiple x's, but you can't have an x and a y. So I only have one variable. So I do so I can continue. I'm going to distribute the 2. x plus 6y minus 28 equals 14. Oh, I said y. I meant 6x. Sorry. x plus 6x minus 28. Then I combine my like terms. 7x minus 28 equals 14. Add 28. So x equals 42. So x has to be Glad we all remember multiplication facts. So I found my first variable. My next step is to plug in. And then you get to choose. Should we plug in what x equals in equation 1 or should we plug it in equation 2? It's up to you. Just write down which one you use. Which one you want to use? 2? Let's use 2. So I think I used 1 the first time, didn't I? So we'll use 2. So I'm going to plug in 2. We'll do y equals 3 times x, which is 6, minus 14. So y equals 18 minus 14. So y is 4. Our next step is to check. Which equation do I have to check in if I just plugged in 2? And I check in one. You have to use one each time. Can't use the same one twice. So I'm going to check in one. I'm going to do x, which is 6, plus 2 times y, which I got 4, equals 14. 6 plus 8, does that equal 14? I did it. Get to celebrate. Oh, wait. i got to write my answer, though. X is 6, Y is 4. Now I can separate. Remember, order pairs have parentheses around them or unmark them off because then they're not order pairs. <laughs> All right, one more for substitution practice. Is there, oh, label your equations 1, 2. Is there an equation that says either x equals or y equals. Do we have it? Do less work. Yay. So I've got x equals 2y plus 8. Where do I put that in equation 1? What do I replace in equation 1? 
Do I put it in the X or do I put it in the Y? Jacob? Yeah, because it says X equals. So I put it in the X. You just say it out loud. X equals, then you know it goes in the X. But also, if you put it in the wrong one, you go to look at your next equation, you won't have only one variable if you put it in the wrong one. So there's a check for you. So I'm going to do negative 2 parenthesis. I'm going to put in 2y plus 8, close parenthesis, plus y equals negative 10. So I plugged in equation 2 into equation 1. And then I will distribute negative 4y minus 16 plus y equals negative 10. So here's, you know, a, a, a spot where somebody might distribute wrong and make a silly mistake. It happens all the time. Silly mistakes happen all the time. Here might be another place where people make silly mistakes. How do I combine negative 4y with this y over here? Combine like terms, what do I get? What do I get? I get negative 3y. That is correct. And then we add 16. So I equal 6. Divide by negative 3. And I get y equals negative 2. Okay, once you know 1, I gotta plug in to find the other. Which equation should we plug in y equals negative 2? It's totally up to you. Which one would you like to do? Equation 2? Okay. So then I'll do x equals 2 times negative 2 plus 8. So x is negative 4 plus 8. So x is 4. So now I have to check in which equation? I have to check in one because I already used two. <coughs> negative two times four plus negative two has to equal negative ten. So negative eight minus two is negative ten. Yes, that works. And then we write our answer as an order here. So make sure you write your x that you want. You're ready to go on? Turn the page so I know you're ready to go on. I can go. It will say in your homework to make sure that you check it. So that means that you should have that work. Just like we're doing in class today. Show all that work in your homework. So the next um, uh, way to solve this is to do the exact same thing that we did. It's just a totally different method. And you have you have done solve by substitution before. You have. You've also done solve by elimination before. This is a total like algebra one review. Tomorrow we'll actually do the or Thursday for you guys. We'll do the algebra two stuff. So there's the steps for elimination. I'm just going to go through them. Elimination, we first want to look at the equation and make sure that our x's are lined up on top of each other, our y's are lined up on top of each other, the equal signs are lined up, and that the, the constants are lined up. You see how everything's in the exact same order in both equations? And then for elimination, what your goal is to do is add the two equations up, equation one and equation two, add the two equations up and eliminate one of the variables. We're going to add the equations up and eliminate one of the variables. So if I add these right now, the way they are, will one of the variables cancel out with the other one if I add up and down? What happens when I add together x plus negative x? They cancel. So those are gone. What happens when I add together 3y plus y? That's 4y. And what happens when I add 3 plus negative 3? Zero. 
So at this step, after I do the elimination, I should only have one variable left. Just like when we did substitution, we only have one variable left. Once you have one variable, you can solve. So for y equals 0, divide by 4. And we get y equals 0. Now you get to plug in whatever equation you want to plug in. So where would you like to plug in y equals 0? You choose. Equation number 2? Okay. Do we like 2? <laughs> Let's choose 2 every time. Alright, equation 2. So I'm going to have negative x plus 0 equals negative 3. My negative x equals negative 3. How do I get rid of that negative sign that's in front of the x? Isn't that a number? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'll multiply. I mean, I'll, I'll divide by negative 1, but you could also um, either is fine. So I get x equals 3. So after we plug in 2, we're going to check in what equation? 1. Gosh, these steps seem very familiar, like I've done them today already. So we're going to check in 1. We're going to do 3 plus 3 times 0 equals 3. So 3 plus 0 equals 3. Does that check? Yay! How do I write my answer? Ordered pair! So the steps after the very first step are all the same for elimination and substitution. They're all the same. It's just the very first step. How you get the variable by itself is different. B. We've got x plus 2y equals 14. We've got 2x plus y equals 4. I'm going to label my equations 1 and 2. Then I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to add these up and something's going to cancel. What's x plus 2x? <coughs> 3x. What is uh, 2y plus y? 3y. Did something cancel? No, so we can't use elimination yet. Do you remember what we have to do? Do we remember from previous course? Okay, so you have to, if these are equations, you can do whatever you want to them as long as you do it to everything in the equation. Or with equations, you could like multiply both sides with the same number. You could like subtract three from both sides. You can do whatever you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make either my x's exactly the same or I'm going to make my y's exactly the same and then I'm going to make one of them negative. So what I'm going to choose to do is I'm going to say I want to cancel out the y's. That's what I want to do. So I'm going to take this bottom equation and both sides of the equation or equation 2, I'm going to multiply by negative 2. So I'm going to rewrite equation 1. Equation 1 is the same. x plus 2y equals 14. But now, equation 2, I multiply everything by negative 2. So we get negative 4x minus 2y equals negative 8. So I multiply everything by negative 2. And once I do that, now what happens to my y's when I add them? See how they're opposites and they cancel. So I add x plus 4x, I get negative 3x. My y's cancel out. I bring down my equal sign, and uh, 14 minus 8 is 6. Divide by negative 3, and we get x is negative 2. So with elimination, you might have to multiply to make it work. Then after that, once you have one of the variables, we plug in. You guys keep wanting to use equation 2. I'm going to use equation 1 this time, just so we've seen both. Plug in equation 1, we'll have negative 2 plus 2y equals 14. So I'm going to uh, add 2 to both sides. 2y equals 16. So y is 8. If I plugged in 1, where do I check? 2. So now I'm going to check in 2. 2 times negative 2 plus 8 equals 4. 
Notice how I checked in my original number two equation, not the changed one. I check in the original. Always check in the original. Negative 4 plus 8 is 4. Yep, that's true. My right, my ordered pair, negative 2, 8, and then I celebrate. Last one. If I add these right now, up and down, does a variable cross out? No, nope, we got 8 and 3, or 8 and negative 3, that makes 5. I've got y plus y, which makes 2y. So I'm going to have to use multiplication. What do you think? Should we cancel out our x's, or should we cancel out our y's? What do you think? Uh -huh, let's do the y's. Let's multiply the second one, equation 2. Let's multiply by negative 1. So equation 1 stays the same. 8x plus y equals negative 16. But equation 2 is now positive 3x minus 1y equals positive 5. Then add them. So 3x plus 8x. 8x plus 3x is 11x. Bless you. Uh, y plus negative y cancels. Bring down equal sign. Negative 16 plus 5 is negative 11. We divide both sides by 11. And we get negative 1. What comes next? Plug in. Which one? Take one, okay. Plug in one, we got eight times negative one plus y equals negative 16. So negative eight plus y is negative 16. Add my eight. Y equals negative eight. Now I have to check in Two. So negative three times what I get for x. Negative one plus negative eight is negative five. See, yeah, I will use my original equation. That's positive three plus negative eight equals negative five. Yep, that's the right answer. Celebrate. After I ordered pair. One, two, three, and four. It's just asking if negative one, five is a solution. So how do you know if negative one, five is a solution? You check it in which equations. Plug it in in which equations. What 
What did I write on the very first page? That the solution to a system is an ordered pair that works in what? All, all equations. So you need to plug it in. There are two. You need to plug it in both equations. It has to work in both. So it does say show your work. There's some space provided. Show your work. And then on the blank, you're just writing yes or no if it works. And then starting 5 through 10, those are the ones where you can do either elimination or substitution. Um, I did the way that makes sense, uh, like the way that makes the most sense to me, the way it's set up. You can use either method. Make sure you practice both methods. Okay, and you guys um, have like 11 minutes, you can work now, and then if you get stuck or if it's not checking, call me over so I can uh, help you out.